a puzzled cow. And she never seems to understand a word one says to her. I don't suppose she understands a word you say, and I don't know that I blame her. Fortunately, Henrietta's here. She was wonderful last year when we played limericks or anagrams, one of those. We had all finished when we suddenly discovered that poor Gerda hadn't even started. She didn't even know what the game was. It was dreadful, wasn't it, Miss dear? Why anyone ever comes to stay with the Angatels, I don't know. I suppose we must be rather trying. The poor dear looked so bewildered, and John looked so impatient. It was then that I was grateful to Henrietta. She turned to Gerda and asked for the pattern of the knitted pullover she was wearing. A dreadful affair, pea green with bobbles and pom-poms all over. Oh, sordid. But Gerda brightened up at once and looked so pleased. The worst of it is Henrietta had to buy some wool and knit one. It was very terrible. Oh, sordid, no. On Henrietta, it looked quite charming. Which is what I mean when I say the world is so very, very Well, sad. don't start rambling again, darling. Let's stick to the weekend. Well, I feel it would be perfectly all right if only Edward weren't coming. Edward? Yes, of course. What on earth made you ask Edward for the weekend? I didn't ask him. He wired to know if we could have him. You know how sensitive Edward is. If I wired back no, he would have never asked himself again. Edward's like that. Yes. Well, it would be perfectly all right if Henrietta would marry him. I do wish it. She does, she does find him very appealing. Well, if only the two of them could be alone without the crystals this weekend. As it is, John has the most unfortunate effect on Edward. John becomes so much more so, and Edward so much less so, if you know what I mean. But I do feel this weekend's going to be very difficult. Christina Edwards. Oh, Edward, we were just saying how nice it was of you to come. Lucy, Lucy, how nice of you to let me come. Oh. Hello, Mitch. You look very grown up. I've been grown up for quite a few years now. I suppose. I haven't noticed. I know. Well, you see, at, at Ainswick, time stands still. I always remember you as you used to be when Uncle Hughes was alive. You should come more often, Lucy. It's looking so beautiful now. Is it, darling? Yes. Oh, the chicken livers. Must check on the chicken liver. I sometimes wonder whether Lucy minds very much about Ainswick. What do you mean? Well, if, if she were born a boy, it would have gone to her instead of me. I wonder if she resents it. Not in the sense you mean. You're an Angatel after all, and that's all that matters. The Angatels stick together, they, they even marry their cousins. Yes, but she does care very much for Ainswick, doesn't she? Oh yes, Lucy cares for Ainswick more than anything in the world, but if you think she resents you, you're wrong, Edward. I never quite understand her. She's got the most extraordinary charm. Lucy's the most mad, the most adorable creature I know, and the most mad. Oh, hello, Edward. Henrietta, lovely to see you. Oh yes, how's Ainswick? It's um, looking so beautiful now. Hello, Mitch and Charlie, how are you? Uh, you should come and drink the uh, Yes, I know. I ought. What fun we all had there as children. Great people are just like gardeners. They take advantage of your not knowing, don't you agree, Edward? <laughs> <laughs> now, what is that? Well, it looks to me like a lobster. It's... It is a lobster, but where did I get it? How did I come by it? I should imagine you got it off the kitchen table. Ah, oh, yes, I remember. I thought a cushion would tell it. looks so nice here. What do you think of it? No. No. Well, it was just a little thought. Uh, excuse me, my lady. Mrs. Medway says may she have the lobster. Thank you, my lady. Gudgeon is wonderful. He always appears at the right moment. How's the sculpture coming, Henrietta? Oh, getting along. I finished the piece for the international group. Would you like to see it? Yes. It's, um, it's called The Worshipper. It's an uncomfortable sort of thing. It's horrible. She heavy forward slants of the neck and submission. The fanaticism of the face. Is she blind? Yes. And what is she looking at with her blind eyes? I don't know. Her god, I suppose. Oh, Henrietta. What did you say, Lucy? Nothing. Ah, sharp inches. Sweet. One ought to look at birds through glasses on tops of trees, ordered one. Are there still herons at Ainswick, Edward? Yes, down by the river. Oh, down by the river. Ah, oh, dear. Why did you say poor Henrietta? Well, Lucy isn't blind. Well, would you like to take a walk? I'd like to stretch my legs after that long drive. Oh, I'd love to. I've been modeling most of the morning. Are you coming, Mitch? Uh, no, thank you. I think I'll stay here and help Lucy with the Christos when they arrive. The Christos? John's coming? Yes. I wish I'd known. Why? Oh, yeah. 
earwigs. Mind you, I'm told earwigs make wonderful mothers. Not that it makes one like them anymore. <laughs>